Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, hey, shut up in this house. All of you should shut up. All of you should actually shut up, please. Falaka, can you me off the TV? Please, I need you guys to keep quiet in this house, please. Please keep quiet, please. Sorry, please. I need nobody to talk. So, what you guys please just saw is my struggle to film at home. Like, my struggle is real in this house. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Moyo, Moyo K channel name. If you don't know, if you're not. Should I tell you to subscribe now or after the video that you can subscribe? But then things that if you've already watched the previous videos, you might want to subscribe. So today I'm kind of doing like a don't rush challenge and I just said okay, instead of wasting the makeup, I should just use it for a YouTube video since I haven't uploaded since that rally video. So please, I know you guys might be looking for like a quarantine to gets like not bored with like to remove your bottom so i don't know if this will help in case it does make sure you subscribe thank you uh today i'm going to be doing a blue look as for many of you that don't know my best color are blue red purple so we're going to start now so i'm going to be starting with my foundation and my foundation is flawless ivy ebony shade First IV Ebony. First IV Ebony shade. First IV is a Nigerian brand. I don't know. I just wanted to like try their foundation, so I got it. And it's not bad. Actually, I wanted to add that this brand is good for me because of the blend I get with my skin. So that I'm also going to be putting like setting powder over it i learned this yeah. i learned this method from my friend like she always makes mm -hmm. her uh, makeup really matte and she uses like setting powder all over it. at this point i'm going to be skipping to mostly voiceovers because uh, apparently people that have at home will never listen to me when i tell them to keep quiet mm -hmm. so with that i'm done with my eyebrow i'm doing my eyeshadow so stay tuned okay So here I'm setting a base for my eyeshadow and I will be looking up because I have a hooded eye so I have to know where my eye stops, I'll be where my crease stops to be able to um, cut that part well enough. So just watch. I'm going to be using a wound, this neon blue shade on the middle of my eye. Now we're done with two eyes, so I'm going to uh, make a lighter shade of blue. What I did was to mix the white concealer with the leftover blue shade I had on my brush, just to serve like as a base for the lighter blue coming up now. So I took the lighter blue and now I'm applying it on the inner part of my crease and trying to also blend it with the darker blue I already had there so it doesn't seem like it is too partitioned so I'm trying to make it obviously fade out just watch basically I 
so here i took the brush that had le leftover concealer with it and i'm using it to cut the outer crease so i can blend it with a darker blue i'm using this dark blue to shade the outer part. At this point, I made a mistake by applying too much dark blue and it just made it seem really messy. So I just decided to continue with the flow and see how it will turn out at the end and hoping I don't make the same mistake on this eye. At the end of the day though, it really turned out okay. Obviously, you see the thumbnail. It turned out really nice. Basically, you guys, after a series of thoughts, I just decided to apply it and just see how this thing will go because I just got fed up kind of but then you can't see the stress on my face because I was already really tired I'm like how can after applying this blue plenty blue and then all of a sudden it doesn't come out together like who do you think you are who so then I just said to continue trusting the process and it turned out so nice you guys have already seen the thumbnail just be watching I yeah, just put white glitter in the inner corner of my eye just to make the look pop out a little bit and I also tried to blend it with the blue glitters I already had at hand and just to make everything really 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 fine So I applied a white eyeliner under my bottom lashes waterline. So here I decided to add black eyeliner, though I was thinking of just adding false lashes before the eyeliner or just false lashes alone. But then I didn't regret adding the black eyeliner because it really brought out the look so well. Instead of having all blue, all blue, all blue, I think the black eyeliner actually did a huge play in this look, kind of. But then I brought my A game when I brought highlighter. Eyelashes, but I think I'll put it off camera. Okay, so welcome back. I'm done fixing my eyelash palette. If you remember it, I'm using that palette, and that's basically all. So, because of how noisy the background is, I'm just going to do like a voiceover over this. So, I'm using that shade and the other light one. I'll use the darker highlight first before I use the lighter one. Same thing when I come to contour, I'll use the darker contour first and then blend it with the lighter contour and same thing with the actual shine shine highlighter i'll use the darker one and then use a whiter highlighter over it so that's what i'm doing now honestly you guys should see for yourself can you actually see this look like can you see this look can you see this cutie holding a mirror and staring at her beautiful self ah Here yeah, I'm using a lighter shade of contour to blend the darker contour and my highlighter together but then I'm doing that using my brush, my highlighter brush, the one I need to highlight 
so yeah i'm also using the darker shade to contour but then i'm um, shading it off with the lighter shade of contour to make it better so i guess that is all and also trying to connect my eyebrow with my nose bridge to make me look more smushed I'm adding a lighter shade to my chin to also kind of smoothen out that contour line a little bit and make my face slimmer too. So here I'm lining my lips with an eye pencil before I apply my lipstick and before I apply my gloss. So I'll just let that set in a little bit and just use this um, opportunity to blend my contour and my highlight with a blush too. And then I'm doing that with my contour brush to make the blush appear a little bit softer than normal blush. After I will also be putting highlighter, I'm setting my brush a little bit with setting spray. Then using the darker highlighter there to blend out my cheekbone. And after which I'll also be going with the white highlighter later on. But I don't think I showed the white highlighter. But then I'll be going in with the white highlighter, so that's what will really bring up this highlight look more. So for now, I'm just blending with the darker one. I just received the text, that's why I'm like that. Don't find it creepy. So I'm applying my lipstick starting with the dark pink and just like blending it out by moving my lips together a lighter pink follows and then a brown lipstick because I don't like too much pink around it and then I'll use gloss over it after which I'll now use a nude pink to blend it also. I'm going to come back with like my hairstyle. So I'm using highlighter on my brow bone because I want to also clear up that dark blue that I allow to pass my eyelid with a little bit of highlighter too. So that's just me using setting spray and now I'll come back on my hair to tell you how. So here I'm just applying water and conditioner that I have put in my spray bottle and detangling with a brush after which i'll go with my hand and run through it to detangle properly for the places the brush could not get to and i'll make sure i also get to the roots of the hair with the conditioner and the water get to the sides as well and as well as the back and detangle as much as i can so while i'm waiting for this video to reach the part i want to explain properly, I'm just going to do a little bit of ASMR. So, chill, let me get this thing open. Okay. okay. So, all oh, y'all are watching me. I'm sure the dangle in my hand getting to the back as well mm -hmm. now I'm taking from the roots and squeezing it up to the end just to make some of the curls come back now I'm going to be laying that side of my hair down and using brush to pin it down on the both sides so I can have this slipped 
look but then like really bushy at the back then I'll flower which I'll also be doing my edges as well so keep on watching me I'm not done with my ASMR as well I'm making the voiceover of this video how many days after I think like um I can't remember when I made this when I took this picture but I think it was April 2nd so I'm making the voiceover and I'm editing this video after after three six three days or four days rather so now you're in young kitchen in Y'all can see how the style turned out to be. So we'll just keep on watching. So I'm doing my edges and I'm trying to make as much curve as I can. But I was only, meant to, I was only able to make three. This is fair enough for me. So I'm just like. So wait, let me change and then I'll come back so you see. So this is the outfit. Obviously my stay at home picture slash challenge outfit. And um, I'm wearing a blue jeans with a black top that's a shame. Part of my excess stomach and I think my pant line as well. So I'm also wearing my dirty crocs as well because I cannot I cannot I cannot wear shoe and then I'm wearing I'm carrying a bag that I just got but then I'm putting the label inside because I'm not ready to launch the bag. What if I want to sell it? So I might as well just leave the label. Okay. Those are my dirty quirks. I just showed you guys. So I really, 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 really hope you guys like this video. And be sure to subscribe, like, share, enjoy your quarantine because it all just lasts for a few number of days. And we should thank God for life also.